wash brush is a wash brush. Put down the lines, put down the tape. Put down the lines, put down the tape. Yellow ochre, alizarin, burnt umber, dioxane purple, sap green. A little later, I got a new big flat wash brush that I'm very excited about. The only art store near me is like a big box arts and crafts store. And this brush retails there for $39, I think. Here's a secret. Go to these, if you have to go to these big box art stores, which I'm sure most people do, go after they do their inventory. It's usually sometime at the beginning of the year, especially for brushes, because brushes after inventory, they put a lot of them on clearance. And so this brush retails $39. I was able to get it for $5. And then there were all sorts of other little brushes that retail for six or seven dollars I was able to get for one or two dollars. It's a little it's a little hack. This is a little hacky right now I'm telling you how to get deals but whatever. Let's uh, do some painting and get over ourselves. So we'll start by making the basic shape of a head. Mix some colors together. I have no idea where this is gonna go and just start pushing around some paint. Just start adding some light areas, start adding some dark areas, do some washes over the entire thing. And then as it comes along, just watch it, see what happens. His left eye here reminded me of Odin, probably because I just read Neil Gaiman's American Gods, which Odin plays a big part in. So that was probably in my head, and as I'm sitting here watching the paint dry and thinking about who this character is, uh, that cropped into my head. And so I decided to go with it by painting this little raven on his shoulder. A book about like ancient gods who were brought to America and they live here, but they were abandoned. Nobody believes in them anymore. So they're just kind of like roaming around. The book does this really cool thing where like it puts like these epic supernatural entities on the backdrop of like just the most bland, like middle America, middle of nowhere, like diners. And like they go in there and they eat roast beef and uh, drink bad coffee and stuff. But you know, it's like Odin and Thor. Actually, I don't think Thor is in it. But it's like these ancient gods, larger than life, epic, but in Kansas. I really like. I really like the book. Couldn't hi hi re I couldn't highly recommend it enough. I couldn't recommend it highly enough next next on this one i'm going to start by wetting down the entire surface instead of just the shape of the head uh just to you know test this wash brush out a little bit more do a full blown proper wash over the whole surface I like this big wash brush because you can add a lot of water and then if you dry it off, you can pick up a little bit of the water or paint if it's still wet. And so it's very flexible. Uh, I, lo I love this brush so much. It's my favorite watercolor brush. It's great. Pushing the paint around and seeing what pops out at me starting with one idea and then abandoning it for something else i've been looking at a lot of art books of expressionist artists i like i like to keep an eclectic 
mix of artists that I'm looking at when I'm looking at art books. And I like to look at, you know, like John Singer Sargent and then also Willem de Kooning. And just kind of, I like variety. Variety is the spice of life. But lately I've been looking at a lot more expressionist artists. Um, Egon Schiele, if I'm saying that right. Francis Bacon. One thing I've noticed about expressionism broadly is that sometimes it's just right because it looks and feels right. It's not, uh, it's not accurate. Like John Singer Sargent, it looks right because he put the, it, the right paint in the right spot. But with like Francis Bacon, on like one of his pieces that really works well like you don't know exactly why it feels or looks right it just does and that's kind of a cool thing about expressionism i should apologize for not removing the tape from these paintings on camera because that's a very satisfying thing to watch and i feel like i've deprived you other than that, if you did like this video, if you like my work more generally, there are many ways that you can support. I have a band camp where I put music out that I make. I have prints available. I have merchandise. Uh, you can find all the ways to support at parkerwinans.com or if you don't have the available resources to fund monetarily or don't want to go to a website and simply like this video share my work with your friends thank you kindly